millions of households across Great Britain are set to receive the next installment of the £900 cost of living payment support before November 19, which is worth £300, with a further £299 is due next spring. Payments for people on means-tested benefits from the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, will receive the money between today, October 31, and November 19, while those on tax credits will be paid between November 10-19, 2023. Families and individuals on a low income or income related benefits, struggling to keep up with the economic impact of the ongoing cost of living crisis may be able to get cash help from their local council. All 32 councils across Scotland have funding to help households in financial need, you just need to call and explain your situation. If you are on a benefit such as Job Seekers Allowance JSA, Employment and Support Allowance ESA, or Pension Credit, your council may be able to offer advice or check if you are missing out on any additional unclaimed benefits, discounts or reductions. Even if you don't claim any benefits, they may be able to help you. Every local council in Scotland has their own service with different rules and may be able to offer help with loans or grants, food vouchers, fuel vouchers and recycled clothes or household items, find your local council here. The Scottish Welfare Fund is also a good source of financial help which provides community care grants, to help people live independently, and crisis grants, which provide a safety net in a disaster or emergency. Community care grants You may be able to get a community care grant if, you're leaving care or imprisonment and need help to start a settled home You've been homeless, or living an unsettled life and need help to start a settled home you need support to stay out of care you're caring for someone who's been released from prison or a young offenders institution you're experiencing great pressure and need help to keep a settled home you're escaping domestic abuse a child's health is at risk your income to get a community care grant you need to be on a low income but this does not mean you need to be on benefits what counts as a low income there is no figure that confirms whether you have a low income. As a guide, if you're on one of the benefits below, or your income is about the same as someone who is, it's more likely you can get a community care grant, income support pension credit job seekers allowance JSA, income based employment and support allowance ESA, Income-Based Universal Credit Your savings if you have savings of over £700, or £1,200 if you get a pension, you may be less likely to get a community care grant, your local council will decide. Find out more about community care grants online here. Crisis Grants A crisis grant is a one-off payment that can provide much-needed cash during an emergency, but it cannot be given to support your income long-term. If you need help because you are on a low income, the quickest way to find out what financial support you may be able to claim is to use a benefits calculator. These are independent, free and confidential and only take a few minutes to complete online. You can find out more about ones from Turn to Us, Advice Direct Scotland, entitled To and Policy and Practice at the end of this article. If your total household income is £30,000 or less, you may be entitled to extra help, so don't dismiss using one of the benefits calculators because you think your income is above the average. What is a crisis grant? A crisis grant can be given to cover the costs of an emergency examples of this could include when, there is a fire or flood at home you have lost money an unexpected crisis happens you are a victim of domestic abuse and you need help with things like moving away from an abuser you are a grandparent or other relative who has taken over caring for a child and you're waiting on a transfer of benefits you are facing a gap in your normal income because of a redundancy or change at work who is eligible for a crisis grant? To get a crisis grant you need to be on a low income, however, this does not mean you need to be currently claiming benefits. 
what counts as a low income similar to the community care grant, the Scottish government explains that there is no figure that will be used to judge whether you have a low income. As a guide, if you're on one of the benefits below, or your income is about the same as someone who is, it's more likely you will be able to get a crisis grant, income support pension credit income based job seekers allowance, JSA, income based employment and support allowance, ESA, universal credit what financial help is available? If you do get a crisis grant, your local council will look at helping you with your most urgent living costs. Some things this may include are help with the costs of, food heating costs many local councils have welfare rights advisors who can, tell you what benefits and other entitlements are available carry out checks so you don't miss out on any benefits help you complete forms give advice and support if your application for a benefit is turned down or you do not get the amount you were expecting how to apply you can apply directly to your local council through the MyGov. Scott website here. Online benefits calculators you can use an independent benefits calculator to find out what benefits you could get how to claim how your benefits will be affected if you start work these calculators are free to use anonymous and could indicate benefits you're missing out on. Where to find help advice direct Scotland this new online tool is the first to fully integrate devolved benefits, including the Scottish Child Payment. It provides a free and impartial assessment of entitlement to a range of benefits such as universal credit, crisis grants and support payments. Turn to us information on income related benefits, tax credits, council tax reduction carer's allowance, universal credit and how your benefits will be affected if you start work or change your working hours get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Policy and practice information on income related benefits, tax credits, contribution-based benefits, council tax reduction, carer's allowance, universal credit, how these are calculated and how your benefits will be affected if you start work or change your working hours entitled to information on income-related benefits, tax credits, contribution-based benefits, council tax reduction, carer's allowance, universal credit and how your benefits will be affected if you start work what you will need you will need accurate information about your savings income including your partners existing benefits and pensions including anyone living with you outgoings such as rent mortgage childcare payments council tax bill join the daily records whatsapp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages